Hey, hey, hey guys, back at it again. Today we are going to be doing our buy black segment and we are going to be looking at bags from no other than Brandon Blackwood. I am so excited, so excited. And I can't wait to show you guys the pieces that I grabbed and my thoughts on whether it is worth it to buy Brandon Blackwood or not. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, let's get into it. I'm so, so excited. So, so excited. So, Brandon Blackwood, in case you guys don't know, he is from um, Brooklyn, New York. He is an American designer. Um, he really blew up in 2000 and like 21, 2020. Um, I can't really remember for his um, ESR, or In Systemic Racism Tote. Um, you know, he is self-made. He is of Jamaican and Chinese descent. Um, and yeah, his brand is really taking off. And what really, really... Um, oh, and before we get started, I would like to send the flowers out to Brandon Blackwood because... He has recently been nominated as the Accessory Designer of the Year for CFDA. Also, for the Emmys, he designed um, the gown that Cheryl Lee, an actress of Jamaican descent also, he designed the gown that she accepted her Emmy in, as well as Walk the Runway, and he even designed this beautiful like trench dress for her to take a picture in for a magazine doing big things, big, wonderful things. You guys should go visit his Instagram because it's full of all of the successes. It's expanded to things such as eyewear. He has a line of other type of bags of which we grabbed a few pieces. And then he also um, is expanding into the fashion industry as far as clothing, shoes, and things like that. And don't know when his autumn winter drop is supposed to come for his new bags but I am excited and I just and I think it's supposed to come in the clothes because I just feel like he's just going to be taking all my coin so <laughs> stay tuned for that coming up in the future also he does ship worldwide so if you guys are not from the United States have no fear worldwide shipping is here okay because <laughs> he does it so, um, if you like what you see or you like what you hear in today's video, make then go ahead to the description block box, click on one of the socials for him that I have posted and do the thing, okay? Um, now, there were a couple of pieces from Brandon, Brandon Blackwood that I really wanted, but I was unable to get because they were sold out. I mean, he is a... Um, I don't know if I would call him a small business owner, maybe because he is really booming. I, I don't know. I would have to look up what constitutes that. But I would say he's like a medium um, business owner, really climbing the pop popularity charts. So in doing so, you know, we have to give him grace because he is really trying to listen to feedback and push out quality material, um, which apparently he has a record for doing. Because in the beginning, he was getting uh, negative feedback about the quality and he went out and he altered it. He does listen and make changes. So that is always a beautiful thing to have whenever it comes to designers. One of the other things about Brandon Blackwood is that he actually names his bags after his friends. Let's now get into my logic behind buying Brandon Blackwood pieces. So although... Um, I understand that a lot of people are going for the um, vegan options for luxury accessories and stuff like that. That is not me. Okay. <laughs> That's not me. When I'm looking at lo purchasing luxury things, I'm thinking for the long term. So I'm thinking about passing it down to my daughter, to my um, children or their spouses, you know, our significant others. You know what I mean? And in order to do that, I personally believe that they need to have a long longevity. And with that, 
animal skin <laughs> has longevity. You know, um, if it breaks, I mean, if it loses color, if it gets scratched or anything like that, you can always have it spawed by taking it to um, a leather surgeon or taking it to a cobbler or something like that. Those materials can be repaired, whereas vegan materials cannot be repaired. It's like a one and done thing. So, um, and any accessory owners, especially purse owners, know that these accessories get damaged. You spill things on them, they, the corners rub, um, there's color transfer, there's so many things. And so I try and think of longevity and cost per wear. So I think I am done for, <laughs> for the most part with buying um, vegan leather. Unless it's in like some kind of clothes or something like that. Accessories, I think I'm done with buying vegan, vegan leather. So, every Brandon Back Blackwood piece that I purchase is made of animal skin. So, <laughs> let's get into these pieces. Okay, the first piece is a small bag called the Maya, and I got it in pink shirling. Ah! <laughs> Y'all, oh my gosh, okay. So I know that for, and this is part of his uh, fall collection. Here's the thing. It is very affordably priced. The packaging was amazing. Um, the branding on everything was amazing. The box even had what collection it came from. And I thought that that was just a beautiful um, addition to that. So anyway, I I know that this fall, everybody loves Sherling. You know, every time it comes around from the Uggs to um, the Hermes Chippery, everybody loves the Sherling. Um, the problem is <laughs> Sherling can get matted and then you have to comb it out if it gets matted. So it's not like one of those bags that you want to get wet. It's not one of those bags that... Um, you, you can't spill anything on it, as you can imagine. Um, so, <sighs> it's one of those things that I always went back and forth of. Like, I think it's cute. I really want one. But I, I don't want to pay an exorbitant amount of money for something that can easily get damaged. <laughs> or I can mess up and can't really clean or fix. But I still wanted it. And this was a beautiful option. I mean, first of all, look at it. And it's in the bag shape that I love so much. Um, it's a tote bag and it has that front silhouette. The silhouette is very similar to um, the, the notorious Birkin bag. It's not a Birkin bag, obviously, but it's similar. So I'm really, really excited about this bag. It's so beautiful. So this part right here is leather. Um, and it does zip close, but, um, you might want to leave it open so that you can get stuff in and out because when you zip it close, it cinches it in and you can't really get in and out of the bag. So, especially for this little bag, you might want to leave it open. And this is a very structured tote, very structured tote. And unlike most totes, it has feet. Now with these little shirlings over it, you know, um, I don't know how it's really gonna hold it up. And all of the bags come with little feet protectors. The top um, handles are leather. And then the inside, this part right here, this flap is actually different because it snaps across. So as you see, it pretty much closes this in. But this is made of leather also. And then on the inside, it does come with a strap. A leather strap that's adjustable um, it has like six different holes so it doesn't matter what height you are this strap will work for you so this will work for people that are moms that want to be cute this will work for if you're going out for like a brunch a date night you just want to be styling and pro uh, profiling you have an event to go to y'all this is cute um, and this Brandon also sends, he has a little packaging thing, and inside, 
Look at this. It says Brendan Blackwood. Um, but it's a care kit. So it kind of tells you how to care for it and what to look out for. Which I absolutely love because all of us are not luxury connoisseurs. I know I'm not. Um, so sometimes we, we need to know how to care for it and what to look out for. It. And I love that he has attached that. But yeah, and here's the inside of the bag. It does have a little pocket right here. So if you want to slide your card holder or what have you. And the inside is made of leather also. Like, I adore this bag. I think this is so cute. I have yet to wear it. Um, oh my gosh, but I cannot wait. Also, for this bag, I feel like this is always, year after year after year, going to come back into season. You know what I mean? And I feel like if I take really good care of this, this is something that my daughter could um, wear and use whenever she gets older. And she doesn't have to spend the money for it because it's already going to be here. The second bag that I got was the Maya, also small. Oh, my gosh. Leather with this green fox. Fire y'all. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Again, you can zip it. Um, be careful zipping it up. Um, I would pull it, unzipping it the first time. You want to pull the hair off to the side so that you can make sure you can unzip it. And again, I would leave this unzipped so you can get in and out of it. Um, and really, I mean, you can't really tell that it's unzipped. Y'all, I... I don't know, again, where I am wearing this too, but I'm wearing it. I am wearing it somewhere, and I know that I need to keep this protected. So, um, and again, my thing with fur is that it can get matted. It can be pulled out. You can spill things on it. So, actually, I'm going to buy one of those combs just so that I can make sure that I can comb um, this stuff out to keep it fluffy. But look at this beauty. Oh, she is beautiful. Beautiful. Um, again, I took the, the um, coverings off, but silver, I love cereal. I normally wear silver all the time. But the little feet, so the bottom of the bag is protected. I love it. I think every bag should have feet. Um... Just to keep it lifted, especially when you're spending money on it. Uh, <laughs> obviously, that's every bag. Especially if it's supposed to be a, a higher-end bag. I feel like it's supposed to have feet. And I don't I don't know. Some people might consider Brandon Blackwood um, contemporary. But I honestly, with the pieces that I bought, I would consider this luxury. Because he has fox fur on authentic really nice beautiful and it's like this shiny smooth leather like it is oh my gosh it is beautiful oh and then right there it says brandon blackwood um you cannot take these little arms off but you can open them up um if you wanted to pull them through these little holes then you could i'm not don't know why you would do that um just buy one of his black bags that don't have the fox fur on it if you want a black one. Um, but oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Anyway, I'm sorry. Let me curb my excitement. Um, and then, as you can tell, this one also, I'm sorry. This one also came from the um, same collection and it had it on the box. So, as you can see, what's different is that this one, you curve in and snap. And let me tell you, the inside of this, like the magnet, it finds the magnet beautifully. If you just have it curved down and you put it in the general area and do like a little thing like I just did, y'all heard it. It clicks. It finds it. And that's beautiful because nobody got time to be fussing around with these dang old magnets to close your bag. I'm here to look cute, okay? So this one also has a strap. So if you want to do a tote or a crossbody, which honestly, I would do this as a tote over a crossbody, but I love having the option because I'm a mama, okay? And sometimes I want to look cute, and what happens if I got to, you know, throw this bad boy over my shoulder and get to going, you know? Um, 
But yes, on the inside, same thing, a pocket. You can't really see it because the interior is dark. But um, this one is made out of like a little suede. But it's like a lower, um, it's not like the puffy suede. But it's a suede. It has a pocket and it does have uh, Brandon Blackwood in leather like sewn in here on his tab. This, this bag is just beautifully made. And again, he has attached um, the care guide. But this bag does fit a phone, which honestly is my go-to for small bags. Like, it has to be able to fit a phone and my car keys. Like, at least. And I find it funny because on Brandon Blackwood's Instagram and his social medias, because everybody is always asking him, uh, does it fit a phone? He now tells you in the description if it fits a phone or not. Because he was tired of people coming for his neck. Okay? So... Um, ooh, yes. Okay, y'all. This next bag, the Sophia. I was actually, um, I was actually on Fashion File and I was going to grab, um, the Chanel boy bag. And then I came across the Brandon Blackwood Sophia. And I was like, I'm getting that instead. So, I got this, I was, and I was going to get a, um, it was the denim, um, Chanel boy bag. And I really wanted a boy bag, but it was always something about it. And people kept saying like different things. So I didn't want to pay all that money. Um, but then I saw the Brandon Blackwood bag and I was obsessed, obsessed. Okay. Like I want another one. This one is the um, standard size, so this is the regular size one. I just love this box style, like, look, the sides of it actually close, so you don't have to worry about the stuff falling out, which is a con that you get that people were saying about the Chanel Boy bag. Um, it also has feet, again. It already should stand up on its own, but it also has feet to help it keep lifted off the um, ground, this bottom part. Um, the edges, y'all know, those are going to get worn anyway, but they are coated, which is wonderful because if they do start wearing away, you can always go get, um, another coating applied. I don't know if Brandon Blackwood has false services at this point, but I feel like you could take it to any cobbler or something like that and they should be able to recode it. Um, this is made with genuine calf skin suede. Now, when I did get it, it must have been hot whenever I was traveling and it was this was starting I guess to melt a little bit because some of the tissue paper is still stuck to it um, to the coating sides but it is what it is it, it gets hot but glazing is an issue with any designer bag whenever it starts getting hot just because you know that's how it's made <laughs> um, but yes, so this bag actually looks similar on the front and the back. Now, the problem is what I have found is sometimes I forget what side is which and I'll be trying to open this back part and like, why isn't it not opening? Child, don't do that. Just, you have to pay attention. He put, he embossed Brandon Blackwood right here ever so slightly. So this is what I love about this is because there's no huge logos anywhere on his bags and I love that there's no need for me personally I love that there's not huge logos um mainly because I have an issue with like having a whole bunch of brands going at one time and people being able to see it and looking like a walking billboard so that's not my thing it looks cute on some a lot of people it's just not my thing so this type of this type of a uh, chain system reminds me of Chanel. Every time I see it, I think of Chanel as the pioneers. I know YSL um, also uses it. There are a lot of brands, contemporary and luxury, that have shifted to using this um, adjustable or the slide rail type chain system. But yeah, I think of Chanel. So um, don't feel like you are settling if you go the Brandon Blackwood route, because the baby, I chose Brandon Blackwood over Chanel and it had nothing to do with him being a black um, designer. It had everything to do with the style. 
and the bag was just beautiful and was calling to me and it was different and the material like I just felt like it was worth it anyway this chain is substantial and I've ordered a lot of chains off of um Amazon and stuff like that and it's, it's hit or miss sometimes you get a quality heavy chain and sometimes you don't um and I do own a Chanel bag and the chain on that is substantial and this chain is substantial he did quality he wasn't going for cheap so don't worry about this chain being cheap and baby the drop on this is amazing you hear me it is tall girl friendly um and i just love the the options that you can do with this so yes now let's open it so this has magnets and these magnets find each other it closes you don't gotta fiddle with nothing okay you don't have to fiddle with anything it opens and closes itself ah i just love that oh i love that i now look at this it looks simple enough single compartment right <laughs> wrong baby bow look at that there is a pocket right here so if you want to slide like papers receipts um even your card you know what i'm saying like a little thin card case you want to slide it right here so you can easily find it and get it because ugh, i hate feeling like i am holding people up in line because i'm trying to fiddle and fable to find things but right there y'all i would put something that kind of is flat right there for easy access love it um if you live in a city if you live in a city right and you know how you go into parking garages um, because this one does not have a back pocket or anything. But you know how you go into parking garages and you get the ticket? Put the ticket right here. Put, put the ticket in the bag. <laughs> you will be able to find it. If you're going on the metro or a bus system or something like that, put that right here. Don't put a whole bunch of stuff in there. Put your money and put your, your transportation tickets or whatever right there, baby. You can find it. I don't know if he was thinking of that because he's from New York, but baby, that's what this can be used for. It does have a zip pocket, a very long zip pocket. Normally, zip, zipper, the back pockets are short. This one isn't. It pretty much goes the length of it, and it goes down. Um, he also has his stamp right there. The inside is like this microfiber. Very luxurious. Oh, so nice. But if you accidentally spill something in it, you can at least pull it out and wipe it down which I love I don't think that every bag should have um, the lining stuffed in there where you can't pull it out so I love that um, I'm not gonna lie to y'all I'm probably gonna grab more of these bags so because I just know that as the seasons change he's gonna come out with more of them oh my gosh Brandon if you're watching honey this bag, if you can come out with one of those um, burgundy ones, or the army green, yes, please and thank you. Um, also, if you don't like silver hardware on these, don't worry, because these bags come in silver or gold hardware. So... If you're more of a silver girl, you can. If you're more of a gold girl, you can. Matter of fact, if I wanted this bag in gold, I could have a bag in each one of them, which isn't a bad idea. So, I love it. 100% would recommend it, and I think it is beautiful. Okay, guys. Now, I got the Lizard Quay in medium. <laughs> listen if you go to any other high end any other designer this bag is so beautifully priced especially for the quality because and for what it is because if you go to any of these bigger designers and try and get a lizard bag it's going to cost you like thousands like seven to twenty thousand or so and so when I saw this bag 
I was like, I want a lizard bag and I wanted this ombre color. I wanted this like, because I was also looking at it in the Celine and stuff like that. But I was like, I don't know if I want to pay for that. Um, anyway, so when I saw this, y'all, I had to snatch it up. Very structured. The quay, you can see it zips up front. Again, I would leave it open just so that you can get in and out of it. And I think it looks very cute whenever it's open like this. Um, it does have the ombre lizard. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Um, I need to get some twillies to put at the top of here because... <sighs> What I don't want to happen is to get all my oils and greases on the handles and it turns the color. So if you don't know, with Lizard, this one already has an off-white color. But with Lizard, what happens is it oxidizes and over time, if you get the ones that are really white, they start turning a little bit more yellow. And I think the glazing on it helps it turn a little bit more yellow. So, yeah, but these already have a yellow tint to it. So, I don't think I have to worry about that with this one. But it's so smooth. It's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. It does have the feet. It has the gold hardware, y'all. The snap is like the one with the fox. It's, you have to turn it down. I have to be really careful with this bag because it is exotic and this one, okay. So y'all saw where it was, right? If you open it all the way up on the side, this is what it looks like. Um, and it says Braden Blackwood right here. But it does have a um, leather strap. But again, I think I would do more toting. I just like to have that option. And then the inside has this pocket and it also has a zip with a, oh, let me take this piece off, um, with a metal zipper and it's branded on the inside. The interior is that smooth, soft, um, microfiber stuff again, but it is very spacious. I mean, you can fit in here what you need to fit in here. Okay. <laughs> no, it does not fit, um. A computer but it will fit an iPad clearly it fits your phone um, this bag is beautiful this is a statement bag now I wouldn't be wearing this every day this is not an everyday bag but if I'm going somewhere and I want to attract attention I would carry this Going into the luxury stores, if you want to stand out and be different and not have a bag that everybody else has or would recognize, this is the way to go, baby, because this is beautiful. Um, and for this, I will be using my um, rain cover because I don't want this getting wet. I do not want this getting wet. So I will um, actually I'll buy a separate um rain protector for this to keep in this bag just in case it rains because it rains a lot here now um brendan is coming out this past friday he came out with the crystallized bags this is recorded before then so i don't really know what they are but on his site so he does have the crystallized bags coming out he has some shades coming out um i believe i'm going to try and grab um one of his shades if i can i hear they sell out quickly but I'm really, really waiting for his main launch for the autumn winter to come out just because I want to see what his coats look like because his personality seems like it would be very on par with mine. That and I want that vanity. He has a vanity coming out and he said you have to see the inside. So I just cannot wait. I want that vanity. I think it's super cute and I'm going to actually try it and grab that. 100%, 100%, Brandon Blackwood is worth it. Buy his stuff. Like, he he listens to his customers for what they're asking for. He listens to his customers when they say that, you know, quality isn't fair or something isn't there, and he tries to correct it. He doesn't just say, oh, well, I did what I did, and take it or leave it. No, he 
he continues to grow. He continues to listen. Um, and it, it's beautiful and it's for everybody. It's not just for black people. It's literally for everybody. But I feel like things like the 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 pieces like the bamboo purse really you know what I mean? It it it's us. It is really black people and we would really understand it. I think everybody can appreciate it, but we get it. You know what I mean? And it has a lot of significance with us. But his bags are beautiful and even and they do have silhouettes to a lot of the big mainstream luxury house brands but the thing is is that all of these luxury brands pretty much when they see something our style works for another luxury house they take it and they make it their own and that's the thing that's why dupes are dupes because they make it their own from the original an origin original creative mind. You know what I mean? And I love the fact that he can take something that he saw and make it his own while also curating and creating his own designs that are not out there. You know what I mean? So the Sophia bag, there are other bags like it. What other bags are there for the bamboo bag? What other current bags are there for the Gemini bag or current bags for the duplex bag? You know what I mean? So he, fashion is his thing. He knows fashion. He follows his own drums. And I think he is a force to be reckoned with. And I love his items. So um, that is my haul for Brandon Blackwood. I'm sure I'll have more Brandon Blackwood pieces coming out. I'm not I don't believe that whenever I buy his pieces, I'm going to list them under the buy black segment. They're just going to be part of my, my segments. <laughs> so, um, yes, this is your introduction to Brandon Blackwood and on my channel. And I cannot wait for him to start opening up places, fashion places like Hermes and LV and um, Bottega. I can't wait for him to have stores that start opening up everywhere for us to actually go into and tour his items. But yeah, okay guys. Oh, and if you do not like the, if you don't want leather, you want vegan leather, he also has the vegan leather options. So it's not just, it's not just exotics. It's not just, um, leather he has all kinds of materials so if you're interested go check out um his socials and his website i will link them in the description box below um but do you guys have brandon blackwood are you grabbing anything from his drop let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video with your mama and you <laughs> until next time guys deuces 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 Deuces, deuces, ow.